Fade has been in Valorant for a little under a month now, but she just might be the one thing Valorant needed. Valorant had a problem, a Sova problem, and now she is here to fix it. Hey everyone, it's Liz. It is with a heavy heart that I inform you that I cannot play Valorant this week because of my nails. I'm also having a bit of trouble reaching that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. So if you can just ring that for me, that would be great. All right, I'm going to lay down one rule and one rule only. No thirsty fade comments. I am tired of giving out bonks. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. <laughs> If you don't know who Fade is, she is the newest Valorant agent and she brings a whole new way of initiating to the squad. Let's do a super quick rundown of her kit. Her signature or haunt is like a Sova Dart basketball. She has two prowlers, which are guidable and when they spot someone, they attack and nearsight them. Then there's her C's, which I call the ball, which if thrown and if it catches someone within its diameter, it makes them stuck in that circle. Not only that, held enemies are deafened and decayed. And then we have her ult. <laughs> no. Old. Basically, its AoE is a large portion of the map and leaves a trail to the enemies. This trail then can allow any prowlers you have left to go directly to them. In addition to this, the ult, if it hits an enemy, deafens and decays them. Really, really long story short, if you're within the ult's AoE, you're f***ed. Sorry. So all of this util and it's perfect. Not only is Fade a baddie, she is exactly what this game needed. Here's what I mean by that. Before Fade came along, Valorant had a bit of a Sova problem. Sova barely had any nerfs to him besides the most recent patch, and even that one isn't that big of a deal. Sova by far was the best initiator and info grabber. Don't get me wrong, Breach, Sky, KO, they're all great, but as an independent initiator, Sova was unbeatable. Even way back when Tens was on Cloud9 and had blonde hair, Sova was a problem. Sova's actually probably the most busted character in the game right now, and the by far the most annoying character to play against. Sure, Sky and more recently Breach were better picks on some maps, but no one quite did the job like Sova of space making and info grabbing. Sova, like Jet, were the defining agents of Valorant, and people latched onto them for the simple reason that they were the best agents of their class. There will always be lower tier picks, that's reality of hero-based games, but no one pick should dominate. There should always be clear advantages and disadvantages for every agent, but when it came to Sova, there was never really not a reason to pick him. So with all of that being said, how has Fade fixed the problem? Well, two ways. The first way is her info grabbing is just as good, if not better than Sova's. Her eye does the same job as his recon dart and her prowlers kind of act like a sky dog. Second is that she is more of a team player. Sova is so good at being independent and his util is extremely self-sufficient. This is where Fade really shines. Yes, she is an info grabber with her haunt, but her C and her Q only really work to the best of their ability when she has allies that push forward with them or use util to capitalize on them like this combo raise nade and fade ball go 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 <laughs> this is why you see a lot of teams running a ko fade combination one is a more self-sufficient close quarters initiator while the other info grabs and helps set him up and other agents for success basically fade is just as good and a team player a number of her abilities apply statuses to players that Sova's do not. While Sova is damage dealing, Fade is playmaking. Both are great, but it's harder for teammates to capitalize on Sova's abilities beyond the recon bolt. With Fades, you capitalize on the debuffs. At the end of the day, Fade gives the game more team comp options that aren't sacrificing anything. In fact, you might be gaining something with her win rate across all ranks averaging at 49.26%. Sova's in comparison is 48.83%. Now, Fade has been out considerably less time, and it makes sense that her win rate is a bit higher since we're all still getting used to her. But the fact is, she is still pretty comparable. Lower tier agents like Phoenix don't have as high of a win rate, and it is simply because his kit isn't as good. Sorry, Phoenix mains. This man needs some tender love and care from Riot because he sucks. Not you, the agent. You, you're great. You're, you're doing spectacular. 
Fade does not replace Sova. She is another choice. And that is exactly what we needed. Another choice besides Fancy Arrow Man. Having choice makes the game more exciting. Comps become a thinking man's dream. No game should pigeonhole you into selecting specific heroes. They get different info in different ways, right? Like. Sova has a dart, and she's got her eyeball, but her eyeball is not better than the dart. But Sova has a drone. Fade has two drones, technically. They're not as good, but there's two of them. I don't think she's better than Sova, and I don't think Sova's better than her. I just think they do two different things. Xsets BCJ said in an interview with Nerd Street Gamers, coming from a Sova player myself, I just think she's super fun, super new take on the game, and I really think they nailed down her style really well. She makes you scared to play against all her kit. The ultimate, the dogs run out you, you're blinded while you're getting ran at, you don't have audio when you're getting fought, lots of stuff that's super chilling with her kit. NA caster Bach noted there have been mixed results with fade comps. While it is still early within the competitive scene where she can be used, it shows that there is potential there and that she isn't the megastar pick like Sova or Sky was. It's something that Valorant has been really trying to do with new agent releases, give people options and show that there isn't just one meta to stick to. Hopefully they keep this trend up with the new agents they release after this and balance the ones they already have. You and Colton, here's my endboard challenge for you. Explain to me on camera why or why not you think I look like Baby Bay. All right, you heard Liz. Nah, I'm just with you. I'm not actually gonna do that for the end board. I challenge you, Colton, not to use that as an end board. Ha! <laughs>